We're here for another little practice of some um, some patterns to say, and I'm also going to do a little introduction to the topic of melodic dictation for you. It's not to scare you, it's really to start your brain getting ready, prepping for the tasks that you would have in oral skills class. Um, so the first topic today is to practice the order of flats and sharps uh, so that when you do your major key signatures and you do your minor key signatures, that order of flats and sharps is just like, poof, it's right there, okay? So let's start with the easy one, the order of flats. Uh, it's easy because it spells bead and then GCF. Um, the order of sharps is not we don't have a good word that pops out um, unless you can say dab, but <clears throat> that's not useful. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to say the order of flats. You're going to say the order of flats. We're going to practice them. Leaving, I'll leave some out, etc., etc. We'll do the all the things. Okay, so here we go. Order of flats: B E A D G C F. Say it with me: B E A D G C F. Okay. I'll say it and then we're going I'm going to leave some out so you're going to end up saying some of it by yourself. Here I go. B E D G Okay, let's do it again. Here I go. B A G F. Did you put the ones in there in between? Okay. Um I want to know from you how which flat in that order of flats is the one I say. So if I say which one is E flat? You would say it's the second flat. It's number two. Okay. So here we go. How about um, D? Four. Mm -hmm. How about B? First flat. Okay. F? Seven. It's the last flat. Okay. How about um, how about G? G flat. Five. Um, this is interesting. I haven't really thought about them with numbers attached to them, so it's it's good practice for me or good brain stretching. Um, a flat. Three. Okay. Now let's turn to the order of sharps. It's true that it is the order of flats in reverse. Somehow, for some people, it's a little harder to say it in reverse. So we might as well just learn it, I suppose. So here we go. Ready? F. C, G, D, A, E, B. It is hard when you get around five and six sharps if you're just saying the order. For me, it seems a weird thing to do. <clears throat> it's easier for me to write them on the staff. I don't know why. Here we go. F, C, G, D, A, E, B. One more time. F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Now I'll leave some out and you say it. Here we go. You fill in the blanks as I do it. F, C, D, A. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. What's the third sharp? Third sharp. Yeah? G sharp. Okay. What's the fifth sharp? A. What's the seventh sharp? B. Okay, good. All right, let's see now. Uh, we're going to do just a little singing practice, and this time I'm going to bring you a melody that has actual words to it. It's a folk song. Um, and we're going to do, we're going to, I'm going to have you sing the folk song with me. Then we're going to figure out by sort of instinct, and I'm going to lead you along with this because obviously you haven't been in oral skills class yet. I'm going to show you how we attach the solfege notes to that melody to figure out what the pitches of the melody are. Just stick with me on this. It's a demonstration more than, than saying like, oh, you can't do this? How terrible. It, this is a demo. This is preparation for oral skills class. Okay, so first your job, and this is, an, this is actually an important thing to do, is to be able to hear the melody and remember it and sing it back. First important step in dictation. Hear the melody, remember it, and sing it back. All right. 
So when I sing this melody, this is going to be our home bass do note. This is the beginning of the scale, but my melody is going to start here. Here I go. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. You nor I nor anyone knows how oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Oats, peas, beans, and barley. It's just a song about crops growing. All right, so I'm going to sing it again. Here I go. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. You nor I nor anyone knows how oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Now sing it with me. Okay, here's our starting note. Find that note. Here we go. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. You nor I nor anyone knows how oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Okay, now we're going to take the dictation <clears throat> and we're not going to write it down. And that's really an important thing to realize. It's not, yes, you have to write it down in class so that your teacher can grade it, see how you're doing, let you know what's not working right. That's how Western art music works. We write it down so we can transmit music to other people without just having to sing it or play it. We can do it in this written form. But <clears throat> the, the important step before writing it down is to actually just is to figure out the melody itself. So writing it down is not as important an end goal in a way as figuring it out, like how do these notes relate to each other? That's too philosophical, isn't it? All right, so I said this note was do, that was our home base. We're starting here on oats. How far is it from here where do is up to here? Do, do, re, mi. So one task would be to figure out that we're starting not on do, but we're starting this melody on mi. Now, the question is, will it go down or up from there? Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Which way did it go? It went down. Uh-huh. Me, me, me. Where did we end up here? What important note was that? That's do. Uh-huh. That was do. So we must have gone me, 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 re, do, do, do. Wow. We've already figured out the beginning of this melody. Me, 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 re, do, do, do. I could then say, oh, if I'm in C major, me is going to be an E, 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 D, C, C, C. I would be able to write that down on the staff. All right, let's figure out the next part. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. So we went oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Oats. Now we could figure out where we were on oats and went up to the next oats, or grows and oats. <laughs> we could do that. Mm -hmm. That's possible. We could count up how many scale degrees. But there's another way that you could consider doing it. If we started here, oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Oats. The next group, the next little sub-phrase. Where was it compared to the first one? The first one started on me. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, uh, if we started here on the first one, we went here on the next one. Those notes are really close. We can use notes that are in actual time, not right up against each other, but are sort of in groups to, um, as a structure. So if I went me, 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 re, do, 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 hmm, how much higher up was that? Not higher up at all from, from the first oats to the second oats. It was the next note. Me, 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 re, do. Fa. Yeah, there's a structure there. Now, before we figure out what the second little subphrase is, let's review. Oats, peas, beans, and barley. Oats, peas, beans. You. Oats. Oats. You. So I have three little phrases, and I already can figure out that the first one started on me, because we figured that out. The next one started on fa. We just worked on that. And then the third phrase goes back 
to me. So if I were trying to keep this straight in class, I might write down with spaces on my staff paper or on my page, a me, a fa, and a me with space in between, so that then I'm not panicking like, oh, what are all these notes? I'm, I'm stepping back and taking the big view, the calm view. Okay, we had me, 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 re, do, 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 second phrase, fa, 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 mm -hmm. Can you fill those in? Fa, fa, fa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even if you don't know the solfege super well yet, maybe you can. Fa, 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 mi, re, re, re. So far, we've figured out half of the melody. Mi, 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 re, do, do, do. Fa, 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 mi, re, re, re. Mm, this we decided was me. That's the third little phrase. Me. You nor I nor anyone knows. It's repetitive. Repetitive is good. If we can figure out what those first few notes are, we can hear the same notes coming back. You nor I nor anyone knows. We know this one's me. Are they next door to each other? Are they steps? Yeah. Me, fa, so, fa, me, fa, so. All right, I'm going to review. Sing it with words first. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. You nor I nor anyone knows. Wow, we've got almost the whole thing. We've got almost three phrases done. We want the fourth phrase with its little pickup. Okay, which the next phrase sounds like, you nor I nor anyone knows how oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. You nor I nor anyone knows how oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Now, here's a little trick. The last thing we sang was how oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Your brain is much more ready to remember the very last thing you heard than something you heard minutes before. So, how did we end this song? Grows. Mm, which note was that? Our dough, our home base. Okay. How oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. How did I get to and barley grows? And barley grows. And bar. It was right next door. Re, do, do, do. Okay. Let's work backwards from that. You nor I nor anyone knows how oats, peas, beans, and barley. How about if I go from peas? Peas, beans, and bar. Peas, beans, and bar. Doesn't that sound like a scale? Yeah, so let's work that out. If we end it on do, do, peas, peas, beans, and barley grows. Fa, mi, re, do, do, do. Okay, we are so close. We had mi, fa, so, fa, mi, fa, so. How oats. Then we have peas, beans, which is fa, mi, re, do, do, do. We only need two more notes. This is great. Okay. You nor I nor anyone knows how. Knows how. That one was so. What's this one for how? Is it next door? Is it a step? No, it's not a step. Okay, it's bigger than a step. Is it, um, let's see if I go from on so, does it go to do? Nope. Okay. Uh, not anyone knows how, knows how. Is it so down to re? Nope. Is it so down to t? Heavens no. It's a small skip, isn't it? So, what's the only one left that I haven't given you? Me. Okay. You nor I nor anyone knows how me so oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. What we have is, so far we have from uh, you nor I, me fa so fa me fa so me. We need this note. Me. What's that note? Is it do? That's do. It's not do. Is it up from there? Nope. It's right there. Mi, re, fa, mi. So we just figured out that we went so, mi, re, fa, mi. That could be 
a really complex, like, oh, you could get freaked out about, what did I go up? Did I go down? Skip step. But notice how we figured out it in different ways. We used bigger structures to help us. We went from the end and got as far as we easily could from the end. We listened for where is dough to make sure that we were always in, you know, checking. Did I land on dough? No, I didn't. Okay, let's figure that out. Okay, we're going to sing this song, finish it up two more times. We're going to sing it with words, and then we'll sing it with solfege. If you get the solfege a little bit wrong by now, because there's a lot of notes there, hey, just join in with me. Here we go. Oats, peas, beans. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. You nor I nor anyone knows how oats, peas, beans, and barley grows. We starting on me. Here we go. Me, 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 re, do, do, do. Fa, 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 mi, re, re, re. Mi, fa, so, fa, mi, fa, so, mi, re, fa, mi, re, do, do, do. There you go, your first melodic dictation. Now, that structure, it could be really helpful to you every time you get into a melodic dictation situation uh, in the semesters ahead. So just keep your cool, keep practicing the singing so that's in your neural pathways and I think you'll have a good you'll have a good experience there in oral skills class.